thank you for tuning in into another interesting tutorial wherever you're watching me from i say you're highly welcome to my returning subscribers you're most welcome in case you are new here this is c concept where we dish out a well detailed tutorial for the benefit of the newbies i want to use this medium to appreciate you guys for your love toward this channel thank you for watching my videos thank you for your kind comments in the comment section below thank you so much in today's tutorial i shall be showing you how to make a bandless skirt okay step by step in case you are a newbie you'll be looking forward to a great tutorial like this where you can sew on your own step by step this tutorial is for you okay i'll be taking you through how to determine the amount of fabric you are going to use for your skirt how to place it on fold how to measure it how to place your measurements okay and how to stitch it isn't that amazing in that case, I will employ you to sit back, relax as we move on to the working table. Here with me, I have a African print. And all together here, I have two years. I've cut it into two pieces. One for the front piece of the skirt and one for the back piece of the skirt. Right, in today's tutorial, I will be using a free hand style. Okay? I will not be using pattern paper. With this, you'll be able to get your confidence in cutting. I'm not saying using pattern is not good. It's very good. Or if you are still doubting yourself, I would recommend you place your measurements or your pattern paper and transfer it to your fabric. Okay? The first thing you need to do is to take your vertical measurements, which are the measurement through the body from the waistline to the length of your costume. Okay, mm -hmm. let's assume this is our skirt now. Take the, put the measuring tape from where you normally have your waistband and run it down to the protrude part of your hip. Okay, that will be your hip line. Okay, whatever you get, you put it there. In most cases, for average people, it's between 7 to 8 inches. While for the curvy ones, it's between the nine inches to 11 inches okay or 12 there about having done that take it again from your waist to your knee length okay whatever you get you write it down then place it on that same spot you take it to your length where you want the skirt to hands okay so whatever you get you write it down that is the vertical measurement that is the measurement through the body now to the measurement around the body all you have to do is to take your measuring tape place it on the innermost of your waistline okay or where you think you normally put your band your skirt band just wrap it around not to tie not to do whatever you get you write it down for the round circumference then take it down to your hip where you have the protrude part of your hip wrap it around your bootstrap your your hip wrap it round whatever you get you write it down for skirt okay majorly for short skirt like this the major measurements are waist circumference and the hip circumference okay having done this look at the measurements you have on your notes which one is the largest is it the waist or the hip for instance, if your waist is 30 and your hip is 40, so which one is the highest? Definitely, it will be the hip. Or if your waist is 40 and your hip is 30, that means your waist will be the largest part of your skates. Okay? The next one is to use the largest parts. Okay? For example, now, my hair is the hip, which is 40. Then you place it on 4. Okay, if you are dividing your circumference, you divide it by 4. So 40 divided by 4, that will be 10 inches. 10 inches, the skirt will be having that. The allowance for that is always 1 inch. That is constant, okay? So you had 1 inch plus your extra allowance. For newbies, I will advise you if you are making any costume for yourself for a start, always had between three to four inches okay this will help you to have excess fabric 
it's better you have excess than for you to run out of fabric okay so let's assume we are adding four inches so 10 plus one plus four that will be 15 inches okay also you determine the length of your fabric we have done that already which is the vertical measurement haven't determined the measurement now the next thing is to take your fabric assuming this is your old fabric ccs or whatever amount you want to use place your fabric on fold okay measure down the length the length of your skirt first you mark it with your chalk having determined the length of your skirt now the next thing is to place your measuring tape from the folded edge and while placing your fabric on fold you place the right side inside okay don't mark on the right side you mark on the wrong side so you place your measurement mark out the measurement you've calculated here 15 inches you mark it all through you place it 15 you mark it you place it down about three places then roll it down after marking it you cut it out okay mm -hmm. so this will be for the front piece you set it aside so to the back piece now the back piece is going to take same step but the only difference there is the zipper allowance let's assume this is the back piece so this is the waistline this is your hip this is the new the new the hip and the length for the back piece all you have to do so you just had your zipper allowance for instance if you are adding two inches for the zipper allowance the zipper allowance is between one inch to two inches okay you can make yours one inch one and a half inches or two inches if you're adding two inches all you have to do just add that two inches to this 15 inches you derive from the front piece two plus 15 that would be 17 inches take your fabric fold it again then measure out 17 inches place it on the upper part here you mark it where the 17 stops like this you mark it take it to the middle from the folded edge 17 mark it to the down part mark it connect it together okay so after cutting it you set it aside you now take the front piece back again because you want to place the measurements now for this tutorial the length of my skirt is 24 inches from the waistline then i added two inches extra one and a half inches will be for the hemming the damp part and half an inch will be for hemming the waistline the next thing is to consider the height of my hip line the height of my hip line from the waistline is nine inches plus the half an inch I added here that is to turn it in making nine and a half this is it so whatever I have here same thing I will place here nine and a half you might be wondering like the question you ask that why am I adding half an inch to heat this half an inch if I if I place nine inches here after hemming this waistline, okay, the hip line will jump up to eight and a half, which is going to affect the hip line. So with this nine and a half, after hemming the, this part, the nine inches will remain on the hip line, okay. So that's the essence of adding a half an inch, okay. So the next one is the knee line. So I will take my measuring tape again on the waistline and then mark down my new line. My new line is 19 inches plus half an inch again making 19 and a half. If you are watching this video, what I will tell you to do is 
whenever you are placing your vertical measurement, that is the measurement through the body, always had half an inch. Okay, then the next one is the length, which is the 24 plus 2 inches allowance, make it 26. Now, the next thing is to place the horizontal measurement, that is the measurement across the body. Okay, and if you are placing the measurement across the body, you divide by 4. Okay, the first measurement across my body is my waistline. Okay. My waist circumference is 44 inches. 44 divided by 4, that would be 11. Plus 1 inch for that. The allowance for that is 1 inch. Okay? So, 11 plus 1 inch, that would be 12 inches. From this folded edge, I will go in by 12 inches. Yeah. On this hip line, I will place the one quarter of my hip circumference okay so my after dividing it by four is 13 inches i always had extra half an inch to my hip circumference for ease so 13 inches plus half an inch making 13 and a half from this folded edge i'll go in by 13 and a half inches here yeah. If you are used to skirt very well, you know from the knee line, the skirt is always slimmer, okay, than the hip. In that case, I'll be taking away one and a half inches. It's not, it's not compulsory, it's optional. If you don't want yours to be tight on the knee line, you can as well reduce it by one inch or you don't take away anything, okay, if you want to have a regular skirt. But you, if you want to have a shaped skirt, you see that you take away one inch or one and a half inches. In some cases, they take away two inches. Okay? But for this tutorial, I'll be taking away one and a half inches from what I have on my hip line. On my hip line here, the one quarter I have here was 13 and a half inches. So when I take away one and a half from it, okay, I'll be left with 12 inches. So on this knee line, I will place 12 inches, okay? So this is it. From this folded edge, I will go in by 12 inches here. And whatever I have here, I will place it on the hemline of the skirt, 12 inches from this folded edge. So the next thing is to connect the markings together, okay? So let me just use my hand, like I said, you take it, then connect it to the knee line, then connect it to the M line, okay? So this is the look of the skirt now. You see the shape coming out. The next thing now is to mark the width of the darts. All you have to do, you place your measuring tip on your chest, from one nipple to the other, whatever you get, you divide it by two. Mine is nine inches. Nine inches divided by two, that will be four and a half. Plus half an inch to join it together, making five inches. From this folded edge on this upper part, I will go in by five inches. And for the depth, for the depth, I will go down by five inches for the front i'll go down by five inches this is it okay so you mark in your five inches make sure it's on the straight line okay then you connect it together connect it so on the straight line which is the five inches i went in with i'll mark half an inch on both sides half an inch on both sides okay like this then form v shape like this i'll take it from where the five inches and i'll take it like this you form v shape okay so this side is going to look so for this side if you want it to reflect all you have to do you take the midpoint of the dart that is the five inches you're marking 
you hold it like this and then give it a notch okay so with that it will reflect here and if when you are taking it you just mark mark down the length which is the five inches okay then you take your darts so this is for the front now so the next thing is to add the allowance okay so for my allowance i'll be adding a two inches for the seam allowance and i'll connect it together the next thing is to cut it out i'll take it from the this part if you are used to skirt very well you notice the front piece of the skirt is not straight i mean the waistline so to do that from this waistline i'll go down by half an inch okay just half an inch from the size seam allowance i'll just connect it to the half an inch just to give it that a uh, over shape okay then i'll cut it out i'll notch the dart again because i've cut out the notch part i notch at that time so you notch the center part of the skirt this will guide you to place six center to center okay notch the down part you notch the upper parts okay our well, skirt is coming out now as you can see i'll go ahead and place the back piece right i've placed the back piece on fold the next thing i'll be doing now i will mark in my zipper allowance okay for this tutorial my zipper allowance will be one and a half inches is it I'll take it down to the hemline of the skirt yes i've marked out my zipper allowance now so i'll place my front piece on it and while placing it you might be having problem on this part don't worry all you have to do is to just leave this part alone focus on the edge here we are not going to curve the back piece now the back is straight always use your pin to secure it the next thing now is to cut it out i'll cut this part as well i don't need it so we have our skirt ready now this is the back as you can see this is the zipper allowance for the back piece and this is the front they are both equal here if you're hiding lining same way you cut the main fabric same way you are going to cut the lining okay but i will not be hiding lining to this the next thing now is to join it together the first thing i will do i will take the darts on the wrong side of the skirt like this stitch it from this upper part half an inch then as you get to the damp part where I'm, i stop with five inches you blend it to the edge just slant it to the edge okay you can use your chalk to do that you just mark half an inch in then blend it like v as for the front as you can see now so this is the darts so i will repeat same for the back piece take it on the wrong side like this okay and stitch it down okay you just run your stitch from here and stop here okay after applying the darts I've also joined the back piece of the skirt together as you can see so the next thing is to apply the zipper now all you have to do is to spread out your back piece like this so take your zipper whatever size of the zipper you are going to use I think the size one is eight or nine take your zipper now you place it on your fabric from the waistline you place it okay? you mark it so that is where your stitch is going to stop so take this part take it to your sewing machine and run your stitch this will help the fabric not to rip off after making your skirt okay 
So after that, you now losing this part. Remember, I stitch everything together the other time. So you're losing it up to where the zipper is going to stop this time around. Then turn it to the right side. You take your zipper, you place it under your fabric. That is the wrong side of your fabric like this. Okay. From the waistline, make sure the edge of the zip align to the waistline. So you place it under. Okay. You make sure there are different ways to make to fix your zipper. Okay. Place it under the fabric like this. Okay. So you take your pin. You pin it down. After pinning it, you take it to the sewing machine. Then you stitch on the fabric okay when you get to this part where the stitch stop on the fabric you bar stitch then you turn to this side as well you place it okay you see now you run your stitch until you get to this waistline again i've joined the zipper now if you want to be sure or maybe you are not sure you are still doubting if the zipper is intact all you have to do is to take it again okay to your sewing machine and run your stitch again on the first stitch you did stitch on it again with this your zip will be intact okay so the next thing is to take the body measurements now i'll be joining both the front piece and the back piece together you align the front piece together like this okay and then notch the center likewise the down part of the front piece so when you are done you place it on the back piece right side of the front piece facing the right side of the back piece like this you place the center of the front piece on the center of the back piece so the zipper now will be the center of the back piece you secure it with your pin very well Chief, to shift the skirt now to to join the side seam together all you have to do is very simple and from the side seam of the skirt that is from the side of the skirt you just go in by the amount of the allowance you added to the skirt that's just the magic okay my i had it two inches from this edge i'll just mark in two inches round the edge of the skirt okay so two inches all through connect it together okay you connect it so after that you open it up you do same thing on the other side as well so you open it up you take it to your sewing machine okay you run your stitch on the line down to the length of the skirt okay same thing on the other side and when you are done you have your skates okay wear shape after joining it this how it's looking now the next thing is to hem the band like i said this is bandless skirt i won't be adding band to it i'll just use my bias to turn the band inside okay then i'll fold in the damp part and before that for the damp parts i'll be giving it overlapping eh, slits so this is what i mean on this part it depends on your preference my i'll be slitting it open by seven inches that is from this damp part i'll go up by seven inches plus the half an inch i'll be adding to i'll be using to hem this damp part making it and a half inches okay so from this damp part i'll go up by eight and a half inches which stop here and when you get here inside of the skirt like this from the down you go up by eight and a half where you have the eight and a half okay you mark it so you run your stitch from where your zipper stop okay from this part you run your stitch very well and stop here you bar stitch about three times bar stitch okay then on loose you loosen up this part remember i joined it together i've done that so you loosen it up after that you now turn it to the right side this is it 
depends on where you want your overlapping to be if you want it on the right side so the right side will overlap the left side okay this is it you fold the zipper allowance inside while the left one we come out okay like this then you place it okay now here you take it to your sewing machine about one inch you run it across okay you run it across from this open part from this part you run your stitch one inch okay you bar stitch with that you have your overlapping slits after that the next thing is to hem the damp part and for the inside if after making it you discover your allowance is too wide you trim it off okay you trim part of it off and leave about one inch or half an inch okay so like mine now is too wide so i'll be trimming it off so i will leave one inch like this so with this i'm okay with this this is it this is the amount left now same thing on the other that for the damp part so i will open it up i'll open the allowance here if you have your overlocking machine you can overlock it okay if you don't have no cause for alarm you leave it so i'll fold in half an inch first then fold in one inch okay you start from the side from the side seam of the skirt okay so same thing all through folding half an inch first then folding one inch until you cover the whole edge of the skirt so hem okay. the upper part of the skirt i'll zip it down i've cut out some pieces of fabric about one inch is it about one inch so after zipping it down you may around whatever you have on the waistline from one end of the zipper you may it round to the other edge so whatever you have you use to cut your fabric out okay and when you are when you done cutting it fold it into the wrong side you fold about half an inch in okay then you place it right side facing the right side you place it on the edge of the waistline then you stitch it one quarter 0 0.25 okay you stitch it round okay after that you now take it again you fold in half one quarter again another one quarter then you stitch it round on the wrong side of this kit okay this is the end product this is the back the, the waist as you can see no band and it's still looking beautiful this is the hook very simple and this is the overlapping splits this is it the front you see the waist how covered it is inside that's it so one more thing before we draw today's cutting as you graduate in your sewing as you move from simple to complex or your subsequent uh, projects if you want to make this kit and you are using this type of material or african print i will recommend you use a lining okay because that's the beauty of the skirt same way you call the skirt same way you are going to call the lining it's very simple okay there's nothing too hard there very very simple okay but for a start you can start with this method without lining so as you graduate step by step you apply lining okay so that is all about it so far so good guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial and i hope you have found it helpful i would love to hear from you in the comment section below if you have found it helpful thank you so much 
don't forget to like it don't forget to share it in case you haven't joined this great family what are you waiting for kindly click 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 on the right subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bell in case i upload new video you get notified thank you so much in case you have any question regarding this tutorial or any of my videos feel free to ask your question me and i will reply you as soon as possible thank you so much i love you all remain blessed i will see you in my next video bye